Kia ora. I'm David Chastain with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news trade uncertainty is growing as the pandemic surges again. And that uncertainty may be compounded by politics this week. This is the week of the US presidential election, of course. Investors' eyes will be firmly on it because of either outcome, or even a contested outcome, will likely have a significant influence on investment and economic prospects one way or the other for a long time to come. And those outcomes will be filtered by a fast worsening pandemic on most large Western economies. Hardly any scenario seems positive. European and American equity markets are gloomy. They ended last week with outside losses. And the S&P 500 futures trading suggests that when they restart this week, more declines are expected. The OECD is reporting that foreign direct investment sank sharply in the first half of 2020, down by 50% to its lowest since 2013. Pullback of investment by foreigners into the USA fell by 74% and drove the trend. The data shows a 60% decline for New Zealand, so investment here was lower than average, and it was even a large proportion of decline for Australia. In China, they've started their once-in-a-decade census, a truly massive undertaking. And China's official PMI data for October was released over the weekend, and their factories expanded in a modest manner again. However, their service sector is expanding faster and at a good rate. In fact, this is the fastest service sector expansion in six years. And these official readings have tended to be more conservative than the private sector PMI monitoring during 2020. And Taiwan's economy grew with unexpected speed in their third quarter, with the GDP rising 3.3% year-on-year, and that's the highest growth in more than two years. It was a growth built on strong exports and a rebound in consumption after successfully taming their pandemic. US Treasury 10-year yield is up one basis point today at just on 0.87%. And the price of gold is held over the weekend at $1,879 an ounce, but still a 2.3% loss for the week. However, gold is a commodity to watch if the US election result is confusing. Oil prices have stayed very low after last week's sharp decline and are now just over $35.50 a barrel in the US, while the international price is now just on $37.50 a barrel. These prices are nearing those we saw in March at the start of the first global set of lockdowns. And the Kiwi dollar has little changed this morning from where we left it at the end of last week at 66.2 US cents. Against the Australian dollar, we're a little firmer at 94.3 Australian cents, which is actually a three-month high. And against the euro, we're holding its 56.7 euro cents. That means our trade weighted index has little changed at 69.8. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.